How's it going everybody? It's Pride here and welcome back to another video. Unfortunately, I can't bring you guys the live reaction to the trailer for Lords of the Fallen. Now, I did do it on stream, but for a specific reason, there's it's probably going to be muted on stream as well. And the reason is that it has a pretty famous band's copyrighted music in it. So if you want to watch the full trailer for yourself, I'll leave it in the description. You can watch it after this or watch it now and then come back. But I want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions so far on what I've seen from the trailer. So luckily we did actually get some gameplay. We got some idea of what the game is going to look like, which I'll show some of those moments obviously. But overall the art style of the cinematic from the beginning is pretty damn fantastic. I'm really loving the look of the game so far. Uh, one of the games it really reminds me of is Blasphemous. Now, I know that might sound weird considering how different that game was, but when it came to the actual, like, little cutscenes that you had in Blasphemous is the reason why it became probably my favorite type of Metroidvania side-scroller game. The brutality mixed with the art style and the, th the themes of that game were so fun to play and so interesting and so cool that I absolutely fell in love with that game. Unfortunately, the DLCs weren't exactly what I had hoped for, so I never ended up playing them, but this is looking very thematically similar to that style of game. The gameplay, how do I feel about it? So far, it's pretty positive. I will say that we didn't get a crazy amount of gameplay. We got a pretty good amount so that we can see how it looks in spurts. There wasn't exactly a full like one minute non-stop bit of gameplay, which I would have loved to see, but the gameplay I will say already looks so much better than the original Lords of the Fallen, which is great because that was one of the things obviously that a lot of people were worried about. I think that if we're coming out of this trailer and we're thinking like, oh, it actually looks pretty good. Like I'm actually pretty excited for it is already fantastic it doesn't even have to be i would say like oh my god it looks breathtakingly amazing and it was unfortunately because lords of the fallen the original one was just so bad in my opinion you know a lot of people do love that game and i'm sorry if you do love that game and i'm kind of shitting on it but i just really dislike that game completely so to come out of this and see some of this gameplay that has honestly very similar comparison gameplay to like bloodborne uh, a lot of the movement, the regular movement, reminds me very much of Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. And surprisingly, a big one that I see in this one is Mortal Shell, which might surprise some people, but maybe some of you guys see it, which is a good thing, because I was a big fan of Mortal Shell. I thought it was one of the best Souls likes of the year when it came out, did a full playthrough on it and everything. So I'm actually pretty happy about that comparison to that game. The bosses in the trailer look so freaking cool some of the bosses look amazing the graphics complement the bosses so damn well i have no idea of like some of the cutscenes you see in the game are actually going to be the way the game looks but from the actual gameplay when they show it, it looks so amazing that i just can't help to give it up to them because like it's it's easily one of the best looking games especially one of the best looking souls likes that i've seen recently and just for that aspect like fully built i believe on unreal engine 5 one of the few games that is going to be fully unreal engine 5 coming out soon it looks amazing the weapons look pretty fun as well it seems like there's a pretty nice variety on a different styles of weapons like from quicker weapons to slower weapons um, I remember from the OG Lords of the Fallen, the slower weapons were just so slow that they were boring to use. I really hope that's not the case and we don't really get too much footage from that. But overall, the game looks like nice and snappy. It has Bloodborne dodges, which, you know, like, I'm, I'm kind of okay with, I guess. Like, the Bloodborne dodges work well for Bloodborne, but I almost hate whenever we have, especially mods for Dark Souls that end up bringing the Bloodborne dodge. Because I feel like sometimes it just doesn't work well. But overall, in the trailer from the looks of the gameplay, it works pretty well in this. And we did also get a release date for the actual game itself. October 13th is the day you can expect to play Lords of the Fallen, which is just real, real close. And I'm just excited, man. I'm excited to have a new game that everybody's, from the looks of it right now, everybody's pretty hyped up on it. Like a lot of people that I've talked about have either been hyped up or pretty on the fence. I would say I'm still sort of on the fence, but... 
when I was streaming earlier, lost my sanity was like, I'm on the fence as well, but it's a very short fence. And I, I know what he means. Like it, it could really go like mostly into the positive section. I don't think I've seen many people see the trailer and really think too negatively. I think most people's negative like opinions about this is because of the track record that they've had, you know, hasn't been spectacular, but hopefully they've learned from their past and improved upon it, had taken people's feedback into consideration, and it does usually seem like studios like these try to do that often. The jump from The Surge to The Surge 2 was pretty significant in terms of the way the game played. In my opinion, still not that great, but much better than the original. So I'm hoping jumping many years into the future from Lords of the Fallen, we are able to get to something that is very smooth, fun, not clunky, because obviously that is one of the, you know, it's literally called Clunky Souls. There's a reason for that. And it's kind of sad, but, you know, if the name fits, and it did, absolutely. I'm very excited for the PvP in this. As you guys know, they've confirmed that there will be invasions in Lords of the Fallen. So we could possibly have another game to compete with invasions on, sort of similar to Elden Ring. It's unfortunate that not more games have done invasions. I, I feel like... There's been a couple that have been like, we're going to do invasions. You know, for example, Doom Eternal. I don't know if you guys remember that was supposed to have invasions and they just literally outright canceled it and never happened. And I was so bummed out because I really wanted to try them because I really want another game to do it right. And for it to be fun, similar to the Soul series and no game has really done it yet. I know Soul and Sanctuary, the new one did it. Um, I never got a chance to actually play the invasions, but from what people told me, it wasn't the best. I'm hoping this comes out and with the mix of the awesome gameplay and some cool weapons that we're able to get another game where we could do, you know, another big Adventures of the Worst Invader series on a different game, which, you know, how amazing would that be? I would love it. But so far, everything's looking real positive in my opinion. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion, though. Are you guys still on the fence? Are you guys thinking negatively after watching the trailer? I'd love to hear all that in the comment section down below so leave it there and let me know but yeah sorry i couldn't bring you guys the full actual reaction trailer unfortunate with the copyrighted music but overall very positive thoughts um i love the art style the art style and the graphics are probably my favorite thing so far about the game the gameplay looks okay i think that um we really will have to get a proper look at like a full you know, even a one minute segment of the person just walking around, running around and smacking things and fighting or even just fighting a boss. I think that would give us a better idea of how this game is going to look. And also, I really hope that you can turn off the motion blur because the trailer had so much of it in it. It was kind of insane. So that is my opinion so far on the Lords of the Fallen gameplay trailer. I'm really excited for October. Looks like we're going to have some good stuff coming up. But thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you did enjoy. I appreciate it very much. Helps out the channel. Helps out the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.